Hi, Brian. Uh, obviously a big win for you guys. What do you attribute it to? Uh, it was a team effort. Uh, everybody contributed. Uh, well, obviously, we got down a little bit of numbers, but we just kind of stuck together the game. We trusted the pass, um, and we finished off the game in the fourth. But credit to the guys who were on the court tonight. Terrific job. How about the strip from Jake P with about 45 seconds left there? Big play. Big play for sure. Uh, we made a lot of big plays tonight. A lot of guys made a lot of huge individual plays throughout the course of the game. So a lot of guys contributed. Great team win. Brian, do you have any um, injury update on Marvin, unfortunately? Uh, just a right knee sprain for now. We'll know more. Um, that's all I have for right now. What did you like about um, Corey, who didn't have it necessarily like he always does from three, but turned in 27, I think, a season high? Uh, He's just generates so much offense for us. I think you guys see this, like the cutting, the moving, obviously the shooting, but it's more than that. He's the rolling to the basket, the drives. Um, he's like a one-man motion out there, old, old school John Havlicek, if you guys like that reference. But that's how no one knows that. Dave, do you know that one? I'm, I grew up in Boston, so I know about Hondo. But yeah, the constant motion is impressive. Um, and, you know, big net scoring night for him. Um, I just wonder about Jared had three huge threes, I think, at the end of the third, beginning of the fourth. Tristan had a really nice game. How much is it self-belief? Is it determination? What did you kind of see from those particularly end-of-the-bench guys tonight? Uh, I think it's just the preparation and the work behind the scenes. I, see, I get to see that every day. Um, so the work that these guys put in, and Jared's always been a, you know, a guy who's competitive, wants to make big plays, and he made some big shots tonight. And then Tristan got extended minutes, and showed what he was capable of. So big contribution from him tonight. Coach, what does it say about the resiliency of the team when so many guys are unavailable with injuries and then Marvin goes down to use the, you know, the, the depth that you have on hand to get a win like this? What does it say about them? I, I, it shows that we have high character guys and the guys who do the right things to prepare themselves to play. And this is the stuff that we talk about. We want to build in this organization, the character. And we're seeing that in games. Um, so. I think we've seen this you know, lately with guys have stepped up when it's been their opportunity. And I think it goes to the preparation that they put in with us. A lot of it's the go-go. Quick shout to the go-go tonight. Unfortunately, they lost at the buzzer. Um, but like, what a great experience for our guys to play in a playoff intensity, playoff basketball. So Jules Bernard, Justin Champagny, Patrick Baldwin Jr., and all the guys, the coaching staff, had a great year. But like, what a great opportunity for them to play when the stakes are high. Um, unfortunately, they didn't get it done, but a great year for the go-go. Brian, is this the kind of game that whatever the result was going to be due to the, but because of the effort showed maybe that the, the team's really on to something that it's making growth to trying to build an identity and the toughness you guys want? Yeah, I think so. Um, it always helps when you get the win to back up some of the things that you've been doing. That so that's you know thrilled for the win for the guys. But I think we're seeing it on a day-to-day -day basis. We're seeing it that we're growing with how we approach things and our mentality and our habits. Tonight that resulted in a win. Um, so thrilled for our team. Thrilled for our guys because they put a lot of work in. Obviously we're a little bit short-handed, but like we, we didn't use that as an excuse and we never will here and uh, really happy for them. What's uh, JP's growth as a playmaker in the last couple of weeks? I, I think it's been great. I, I told him this, told him right after the game, he really just managed the game. Um, he set the table, 13 assists. Um, he kind of controlled the flow. And this is kind of what we envisioned when we put the ball in his hands more um, for his growth and his development. And I, I liked the floor game that he played tonight. Um, Scored when he had to, but found his teammates and got them going because they needed the confidence that he can build. That's what he's capable of. So it was great. Brian, how do you describe the mood in the locker room after this one? Uh, the guys were, you know, guys were happy uh, for sure because um, I think they felt the, the contributions from everybody. Everybody had contributed, and I think when you have team wins like that, I think those are the ones that feel the best. So the guys were happy about that. Tristan had his best game of the season, it seemed like, and he seemed like he was moving pretty freely on both ends of the floor. What did you see from him? Uh, I think you, you saw a little bit of everything. Um, you know, the floor spacing, the passing. Um, I liked his defense mostly. I think that was what you – know, he's big, vertical at the rim, 
got on the perimeter and switched a little bit. So we saw a little bit of everything. And this is just great for development. We're learning him too and discovering parts of his game as we go. But this is why he's here. And we're thrilled that he wanted to be part of us and be part of our program. Brian, it will, as far as you know, will more will some imaging be done on Marvin's knee? The only, the only update I just had is this, you know, he got the, the knee sprain and then there'll be further evaluations going forward, but nothing specific right now. Um, speaking about the DC crowd, um, so tonight, usually when they're playing like these big name teams, there's a lot of fans from the opposition that are cheering, but tonight the DC crowd was very into the game to the very end. What can you say about the crowd participation in tonight's win? Uh, I think David would speak to this, but I think people from DC have, in this area have a great understanding about basketball and they like good basketball. So I think they're really supporting our team because we're playing a good style. They like the hustle, they like the sharing. I think they, the crowd has a good basketball IQ, so I think they could feel the way we were playing tonight. I think that was really key tonight. So great support from our fans. It was terrific. Coach, how is it seeing Danny Avdia turn into an NBA star? D Danny's been great. Um, growth has been tremendous. You know, we've put the ball in his hands to make plays for himself or others. The rebounding has been great. So, like, we're going to keep pushing Danny to do more because um, we think he can be keep growing and he's shown growth over these last few months and we're going to keep pushing him to do that. What's up, guys? Corey, what kind of team do you feel like you were able to take advantage of tonight in terms of it seemed like you guys were making them pay for every little mistake? Yeah, we got out in transition. Um, we ran really, really hard. Um, we knew that we were going to uh, lo probably, probably lose the rebounding battle. Um, and we were able to kind of take advantage of our possessions when they did miss. Uh, they, we held them to a really low three-point percentage, and when we made the miss, we got out and ran. We got out and run, and and uh, made them pay. Um, and plus, I mean, like our bench was incredible tonight. Jared was really good. Tristan was really really good. Um, and then Gino came in there and and um, guarded really tough. So uh, credit to those guys and stepping up when um, they were unsure if they're going to play tonight. Yeah, it's a step forward, maybe two steps forward. Um, this is the attitude we need to have and the aggression we need to have when we play these kind of games, especially against a championship team like this. Um, super proud of everybody who played tonight with, um, yeah, with with the approach. Uh, we came in locked in, ready to go from the jump, and then um, you can't afford to you know, hesitate for a little bit uh, when you play a team like this. So uh, credit to everybody who stepped on the floor tonight for sure. Corey, Corey congrats on the win. Thank you. How, how much do you enjoy playing with Denny Avdia? He had that big assist to you. Yeah, Denny's, I mean, he's, I mean, I've got to see him for three years now grow. And the way he uh, is able to make the correct play over and over again now is is something that's added to he's added to his his toolbox. I mean he's been um, an offensive catalyst for us. Um, he has the ball in his hands a lot, and we trust him with a lot. And uh, tonight he made the the right play a lot of times. So um, it's been really fun to watch him grow um, and and become a more complete player over the three years that I've I've played with him. Because uh, he's no, he, yeah, very serious. Um, well, it's it's twofold, right? Like it's number one because he's stubborn and he and he's like he, he always needs to have music playing. It's kind of just who he is. And number two, like he kind of brings he he rounds out our music taste in the locker room. You know, we kind of listen to a lot of the same stuff over and over again. And then you know, when Denny gets on the ox, I mean, you guys were in the locker room, you heard it, and um, he rounds out our music taste. So. I appreciate it. I know a lot of guys do, and um, yeah, and he's stubborn, and he, he wants the Hawks bad. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's he's taking what the defense has given him. Um, Thirteen assists tonight, um, with only three turnovers, is a really really good line, and um, he's the focal point of every team's plan when they're when they're you know trying to play when they're playing us and. Um, instead of forcing things and um, trying to get himself going, he lets the game come to him, and he made the right play a lot tonight. Um, 
and I'm proud of him, man. Um, he's dealt with a lot of pressure and a lot of things over the course of this year, and um, never once did he lose confidence or um, lose his love for the game. And he's he believes in in me personally a lot, a ton, and um, I get a lot of confidence from Jordan too. So it's not only just his playmaking, but when he passes me the ball, like he wants me to shoot it and he wants me to make a play, and um, it's that kind of you know, unselfish nature that he, he's playing with a lot more recently that um, is really, really fun. It's contagious. I mean, Jordan's personality is contagious. And um, when he plays that way and he plays with the joy that he does, it's super fun to play with Jordan. The Bucks were the number two seed in the East uh, going into today. What does this win mean for you guys? I think it's definitely one of our best wins this season. Um, we competed. I think we competed knowing that it doesn't matter what seed the Bucks are. It doesn't matter the players. Like I think everybody took the challenge today um, and competed. And you saw the defense on Giannis. Like it was collective. Um, honestly, just a brilliant game from from start to finish, defensively, offensively. I mean, I got no words to describe this win. It was amazing. What did you see from Tristan Vukovic in his um, you know, biggest game yet so far? I'm so happy for him. You know, it's it's crazy how um, you get into the NBA, you play your first minutes, and he got adopted so fast. And I feel like he's getting more and more confident. He's very skilled for his size, and I think he can really help us a lot. And I'm happy that he's here and he found a new home. And hopefully he'll just keep going, stay humble, keep working hard, and and be a part of this uh, organization. Danny, obviously this game didn't really mean anything for the standings or anything like Chase meant, but you looked so happy after the win. What did it mean for you and for kind of the team going forward? It means that we nobody believed that we're going to win this game tonight, uh, but we did. And I know and, and the team knows how much we're working and how much we um, suffered losses during the season. And when you... When you see an improvement, when you see that fantastic win that we had, like do you see you see the people around like coming to I feel like um, excelling in a lot of things on the court. It's just like I'm happy for the group. I'm happy for the group because we needed it. Like it's a co- definitely a confidence booster, um, and it makes us believe that we can do good stuff, even though we're, we came as an underdog. I asked you earlier this season, Denny, about the crowd participation and cheering for the opposite team. <laughs> now tonight, we had the crowd in here for, they were part of the game, the entire game from beginning to end. So how did that feel? This is what it is all about. This is part of sports. It's the, the beauty of, of the crowd. I feel like we were happy to perform for people that come in and support in us, even when we're out of the playoffs. But they're showing support. and. Honestly, I, I, I'm thankful. I'm, uh, I'm really thankful for them to, to keep coming and keep cheering us, even though um, even though we're not really competitive yet, like yet this season. But um, honestly, I'm just calling for more fans to come out and support us. Uh, the team needs it. The players need it. We, we want to build something here, and it's, it's, it's a part of it. אני שמח שאתה משווה אותי למסי, אבל התמיכה של עם ישראל היא פשוט מדהימה, במיוחד בתקופה כזאת. שאנשים מגיעים ואתה נותן להם איזושהי חוויה חיובית זה משהו שבאמת בורחתי לעשות אני מזמין את כולם כיף לי שאתם פה, כיף לי שמודדים אותי וזהו, שמח תודה What is he like? Um, he definitely remind me some of um, he's a great dude. He's, he's, he's an amazing dude. I'm, I'm getting to know him too, Josh. Like I, I had like two dinners with him. It was good. Um, 
get to know his story a little bit. Um, very smart player, um, knows a lot of languages. Um, I, I asked him to uh, help me out with my Serbian a little bit, so um, hopefully that will go good and uh, that's it. He's a great person, great teammate. Uh, well, we went to my uh, uh, favorite restaurant, uh, Le Diplomat. I, I took him there. So and um, and we went. Yeah, it is. And we went. I don't remember where we went, okay. but that's probably it. Amazing. I always uh, music going on. We were really happy. Really happy. You know, there's there's parts of the season like that. It was a, such a collective win. We we gave in such effort. Like everybody wait, like worked so hard for like those moments. And when you when everybody plays good and together, and we get the win, it's like it feels like this is like what we waited this season. We waited for those type of moments. And when it it comes, you gotta you gotta embrace it. And we're we're really blessed. And also shout out to uh, Marvin. All, honestly, like he got injured. Um, hopefully he uh, returns um, fast, and hopefully it's nothing severe. And that's it. Our prayers and with him. How valuable? I know you have seven games left, and they mean everything yeah. to you. But how valuable will this summer be for you in terms of getting into the weight room? Yeah. In terms of learning the game for the U.S. Yeah. game further. Yeah. So you know, I want to stay here as much as possible uh, during the summer, and you know. Uh, for the weather to help me, you know, improve and be as prepared as possible for for next season, both mentally and, and physically. So it's v probably my biggest summer of of my career, and I have to be very, you know, concentrated, very willing to to learn, to grow. So yeah. Have you? I know you're busy and you have bigger priorities, but have you had a chance to walk around and see any part of this nation's capital? Yeah. Um, I think I saw more when I got drafted, so in uh, July. But yeah, I've seen, I go for walks pretty much every day. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice city. I haven't seen a lot. Uh, I don't have a car, so I'm just, you know, walking in the in the areas, you know, seeing what's what's nice, taking pictures, calling family, showing them around. So yeah, it's been nice. When you have to play 31 minutes in a game like tonight, um, obviously you played well, but like how, how well do you know the, the plays and like the system and like are you still kind of... Yeah, to be, on, yeah. to be honest, not much, but they're helping me, they're, the assistants are helping me a lot, also on the court telling me, hey, do this, do that, so so yeah, but it's, I think we play free, we play a, a good free game, uh, the first half and the second half where I think we're more like plays and, you know, uh, getting the right shots and uh, we did a great job for that, we didn't really shoot the ball well, but other than that, uh, we had a, we had a good game. How are teammates here treating you? Amazing. They've been they've been very helpful. Um, you know, it's it was not easy. You know, it's like you move very very far away, just middle of the season like that. You know, it's not something that was like planned or like I knew up front. Um, so it was like a like a shock, let's say. You know, just coming here for the last month, and you know they've done a great job. Like also the management, the you know front office, and everyone has made me feel very comfortable. I feel very comfortable and very good. So yeah. As great as your English is, and it's better than ours. <laughs> uh, nah. um, do you feel? Do you get homesick? A bit. Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, but there's some, like Serbian. There's some Greek spots out here, and I, I, I go to them, so like I can feel a bit like closer to home, let's say. But yeah, like the people around here are good, so it's not something that's really like going through my mind. But yeah, I may feel, sometimes you know feel like uh, you know my friends, my family, because now it's I'm very very far away. But it's, I'm playing basketball, doing what I love, so, yeah. Um, we asked you the night of your debut, like your family was, was able to watch. You said the time difference. Uh, maybe yeah, actually, my mom, my mom oh, watched. Yeah. yeah, so my mom, uh, my mom watched. My dad and brother didn't. She, uh, we're talking right now. Uh, you know, she's very happy. So, so yeah. Denny, yeah. Understood. Denny knows what it's like to live halfway around yeah. the globe. Yeah. How much has he helped you? knowing what you're dealing with. Yeah, a lot. You know, he always, uh, also after practice, after games, we may grab dinner, we may hang out. So he's done a, a great job in 
helping me, you know, feel good, telling me what to do, what not to do, and uh, you know, he's done a great job. He's I'm calling my vet, even though he's like what two years older than me, <laughs> but he's he's amazing, you know, and he's also half Serbian, so I'm I'm teaching him a bit of Serbian.